In this video, you'll learn about the control panel located inside your RV. The control panel gives you vital information about the systems in your RV and lets you operate certain components with the press of a button. The systems monitor is located in the upper left of your control panel and shows you levels for your gray and black tanks, onboard fresh water, the propane tank, and the charge level of your coach batteries. There is also another more accurate gauge for the propane located on the tank itself. An hour meter is located next to the systems monitor that keeps track of how many total hours the generator has been running. Remember to check the generator's oil level every eight to 10 hours of use. The switch to turn on the generator is located right next to the hour meter. To turn on the generator, first prime it by pressing the switch down until the red light comes on. Then hold the switch for up to a few seconds until you hear the generator running. Switches for operating the water heater and the water pump are also located on the control panel. Remember to turn the water heater on 30 minutes prior to needing hot water and that the system heats up only six gallons of water at a time. You'll need to switch on the water pump to use such things as a sink and the shower and for flushing the toilet, but only when not connected to an external water source. Running the water pump when connected to the external water source will damage the pump. And always remember to turn off the water pump when it's no longer needed. Master switches for the overhead lights are also located on the control panel. And these lights also have an on-off switch located directly on them for greater control. You may see a switch labeled Arctic Pack on your control panel. This feature is used when camping in very cold climates and should not be used without approval from Neff Brothers RV. Lastly, the largest switch on the control panel is used to extend and retract your RV slide out. Always remember to check inside and outside the RV for obstructions before extending a slide out. In particular, the driver's seat may obstruct the slide out if it's moved all the way back. You'll know the slide out is fully extended or retracted when you hear a clicking sound. And lastly, please do not let children or adults sit or stand on the slide out's furniture while it's being extended or retracted. Thank you for being a guest of Neff Brothers RV. Additional questions can be answered when you depart.